What's up, y'all? Welcome back. My name is Andy. This is EPS Garage, and today I'm going to cover the basics of pyrography or wood burning. It's um, it's an art where you use a heated pen to transfer an image onto a piece of wood, leather, uh, multiple media's you can use. I use this some in my projects. I use it to put my kind of stamp or initials on the bottom of a project or the back of it to indicate that I did it and I put the date. I also use it to decorate some stuff, um, put some initials on stuff, uh, do different stuff. There's all kinds of things you can do with it. I'm by no means a professional. This video is going to just show you what I know, what I've learned over the last mm, 10 years or so. Doing this, I'm going to cover the couple different types of pins, pros and cons you might find interesting. I'll also show on here some of the different work. There's some beautiful work people do and I'll link some of the, the pages that you can find their work. It's amazing, realistic, <laughs> nothing like mine. Mine's uh, pretty amateur, but I, I'm also gonna show you how to transfer an image. If you're not good at drawing, like myself, I'm not a very good drawer, I, but you can take an image and you can transfer it and then wood burn it and it comes out a lot cooler than if I tried to draw it by hand. So, show you all that here soon. Stay tuned, hope you enjoy it. If you do, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you have any tips, anything you want to say, if you have any feedback on the videos, trying to improve, please leave comments. Um, they're much appreciated. Thank you. First burner pyrography pen I'm going to cover is the fixed solid tip. It's just like this. I've actually had this since I was in the Boy Scouts as a little kid. And the tip, tips you can just unscrew and put them back on. These, pros of these, is they're cheap. You can get these for like nine bucks. Uh, you can get a whole kit of them for 20 bucks, a bunch of different tips and all that. Uh, cons is they take forever to get hot. I'm going to show something here in a few minutes in my video and I'll show you how long it takes. It takes three to four minutes for one of these to get hot where you can actually start burning. Then it takes forever for them to cool down. So that is a con. Another pro good thing about them is the tips. They've got a pretty good selection of tips. I don't know. You can do, you can do some cool stuff with these. Um, I think some professionals use these. You can also find these where they do have adjustable heat. However, I think it's in only two increments, like 15 and 30 watts. I'm not sure on that. But this is what I started with. If you're just getting into this and you're not sure if you're gonna like it or not, you may wanna go check one of these out on Amazon or your local hobby store. I think I bought this at a Michael's back in like the 90s. So, but it still works, works great. Next one I'm gonna cover really quick is the wire tipped burner. I don't know if you can get a good view of that, but it's got a couple of screws. You change out these wire tips. This one is the sharp tip for fine lines. This is a razor tip SK. It's the lower end model. I think about 130 bucks for one of these. Um, after I bought this and the pins and some tips and all that, I think I paid closer to $200, but this was thanks to the uh, COVID um, money that we got a few years ago in 2020. So that's what I spent this. That money on but anyways the this gets hot really quick so that's a pro as soon as you turn it on I mean within a couple seconds it's ready to go um, the con is it is expensive way more expensive than the brass solid tip burners pyrography pins and another option for this that I really like is it's really easy. Well, I guess not easy, but there are people and there's videos out there where they make their own tips out of wire. Um, you can get really creative with the types of tips and you can buy all kinds of tips. Actually, I did a snake carving a while back and uh, you can buy actual scales that you can burn into the snake and it looks really realistic. Stinnet Sticks is a good video to watch. He does amazing work with very realistic snake carvings and that's actually where I learned about this whole entire unit. I always use that solid tip. Didn't even know this was a thing. So hopefully if you really like this and you really get into it, 
you may want to get you one of these. I'm sure they got different models. This is kind of, I think, a more name brand model. They've got other ones that might be cheaper. I really enjoy this. I've probably gotten my money back on this of all the different projects I've made and did artwork on and sold them at the market. So it can be an investment. Just to show you how there's a difference in the quickness of getting heat to one pin versus the other. I did a quick little demonstration. One of them I, only, I did in real time, the wire one, didn't even have to speed it up. The brass solid tip one, I had to speed up, cut a bunch out because it took over three minutes, so check it out. All right, so let's just show you the difference and how long this takes to heat up. So I'm plugging this one in right now, and we'll wait and see. So far, 30 seconds. I can feel it. I can feel the heat starting to radiate, and we're at one minute. All right, minute and a half. Still not burning. Whenever you're doing a project, this is the last thing you want to do is be waiting for your pen to heat up. Over two and a half minutes now, and it's finally starting to burn a little bit. All right, I would say that's it. Three minutes, 15 seconds. All right, let's test the wire nib. I'm gonna turn it on, I got it on a setting of seven turned on now and it's burning I'll just leave this in real time I won't even fast forward this but see it's already burning it kind of go over the tips really quick this one's still too hot for me to show you but I have the sharp tip and they have little screws threads on on the back of them I don't know if you can see that. And they just screw in the front. Oh, almost lost it. But there's a pretty good variety. The wire tips, I made this little container. And you can see I got some snake scales in there. You got like a knife edge, fine razor point. Um, this one's for really detailed really sharp I mean there's a ton of these and there's a couple websites you can get these from All right, so let's do an image I got me a piece of scrap cedar I smoothed it off about 120 grit and I want to put this cardinal on here now I am not a professional drawer or artist or anything like that so I want to get this image on here and burn it how am I going to do that I'll tell you an easy way, and that is using carbon paper. You can buy this on Amazon. It's really cheap. Get a packet. I bought a packet a couple years ago, and I'm still using it. And what I do is I just kind of get the idea of how big I need to cut it. I use a razor knife. cut it to the image and then I'm going to place it where I want it on my piece. I use a little bit of tape. I just take some masking tape actually is what I always use for whatever reason, no reason why. Now I find a mechanical pencil works really well so that's what I usually do. Remember whenever you're tracing your image not to put in too much detail, you'll be able to do that later with your wood burning pen. All right, see what this looks like. Rough image. There's our image. Very rough, uh, no detail, but it'll look a lot better once we burn it. I'm gonna change my wire tip out. Make sure they're both snug, but don't over tighten them. And I'm going to start out on seven. All right, now I got it on nine. 
go a little bit hotter with this. All right, I'm going to change tips out. See, real quick, I just blew on it a little bit, and I can already change it out. I'm changing this tip from my pointed tip to my really sharp razor tip. It does really well at putting super fine lines for like feathers. I even use it for some shading. That's an actual shading tip right there. It's kind of flat, gets hot, allows you to do a large area of shading. This is one of my favorite parts, adding all the detail. I just really enjoy it because it makes your image really stand out and look really good towards the end. I don't know why, but mine always end up looking halfway decent. Add some of these dots here. I'm trying to do this to show you. Some name. There we go. Little pyography bird. Okay, that's it. There's our transferred image. Pretty simple, that method. If you are an artist and you are good at drawing, by all means, freehand draw it on there. If you want a freehand with this, do whatever you want. It's your, it's your artwork, your piece. Get creative, that's the whole fun with it. Me personally, I don't use the brass tip anymore. I use my professional. However, if you're just getting started, I would only spend the $12 to $15 on the brass tip to see if you like it. If you do find you like it and you want to get more into it, then maybe upgrade to the more professional. I've made my money back on this with projects. The bird feeder that I made in a recent video, it I'm going to do another video on how I decorate those and those things sell every single time. I even started painting them. First I started just wood burning them like this and then I started adding color and playing around the paint. When you paint these they come out really good. I'll show some examples in the video. That's all I got. hope that helped y'all in some way, fashion, or form. Y'all be safe, have fun, and I'll see you next time.